What's so controversial about lighting? Well, as you can imagine, religion has always had a big impact of lighting throughout the ages. But what was allowed and what was banned? For that, stay with me, Laurent Chanovsky, to find out more in the next episode of this fascinating series. Well, here, the best example we can have is Judaism. Judaism has fixed since its beginnings that only olive oil could be used, but it's the only religion that fixed also the shapes of the lamps. Menorah is a seven-branch candelabrum to hold seven lamps. There is also the miracle of the Hanukkah. When the Persians destroyed the Temple of Jerusalem, the rabbis found out a menorah and just a very small quantity of lamps. They thought, we will not cope to resolve, to harvest, to, to mill olive oil until this, this will last one hour. It lasted eight days. That what for the Jewish major celebration is a Hanukkah with a very special design where you light each of the eight nozzles and when you have it lighted the eighth nozzle, it's holiday. So what's very interesting there is that Israelis has always been a diaspora. Since the Greek time, Roman Empire, Byzantine Empire. And we can read in the Tractate Sabbat, in the Talmud, all the fights they had. Because of course the rabbis of Jerusalem told you can use only olive oil. And then there is a rabbi of Anatolia telling, well, I just have castor oil. There is a rabbi on the Black Sea that I have only fish oil. There is a rabbi in Europe that tells I have only candles. So at this point, in a non-hierarchical religion, the debates, and this is the most fascinating also for us to know which parts of the former Byzantine Empire and former Roman Empire had access to which kind of fuels. In the contrary, if we stay on Judaism, they were the first to admit gas, they were the first to admit electricity, which was absolutely a veto from the Vatican. During this period, the popes forbid even the railways, so the Vatican state that dominated a quarter of Italy was totally retrograde. No gas, no electricity, nothing. And then you have other religions like Islam. They were so fond of glass lamps, which were a Roman invention. Why? Because of course, for to perform your prayer as a Muslim, you need all the necessary space of the ground. So it means that all the lights have to be suspended. And so this is also applying into the houses. Because what you have in religion, as it is massively produced for the religious cult house, it's also available to have it at home. It's not the same particular uh, perfection you will find in a mosque. And that's what for also the mosques were very easy to illuminate with electricity, because you just had to take out the oil and the wick and the wick holder and put a lamp bulb. And for them it was not a question of sacrality. If we see the impact of the religions on the type of lamps that was only for Judaism and in some extent from Hinduism, but mainly for the fuels, it's very important. That's what for, for instance, in Islam you cannot use wax because it's a secretion from an animal and of course you will never be able to use any kind of animal fat. So this has also a strong economic impact. We will see also in the next episodes. What did governments find so threatening about lighting used in churches? What led them to issue edict to curb excesses? Join me for our next episode to find out. And why not subscribe now to watch all the episodes in this series? Hit the bell button to be notified when new videos become available.